Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing um, a makeup look for my hijabi, so my Muslim viewers that wear a hijab. So something that's very focused on the eyes and today I wanted to do like a party look with lots of glitter because I have done dramatic looks before like I did them for Eid in 2013 and I skipped last year because I don't know, I just kind of, I think it kind of crept up on me Eid because I don't celebrate it and it was just like suddenly everyone was like it's Eid next week and I was like Oh god, I'm unorganized. So I'm doing this look for you guys and do you know what? I'm doing it. I felt like now was a good time because of all the negative like anti-Muslim stuff going around after the things in Paris and like that thing in Australia but I feel like we need to reunite a little bit and I love that you know at the end of the day no matter what we look like, no matter what we believe in and stuff. Um, everyone that watches my channel just has the same old interest in makeup and so that's something that I think is really beautiful and that's why I did this video. Just to show our sisters all over the world that um, not all of us like think like some of those closed-minded people. Um, you don't have to believe in the same thing as everyone else but you can treat each other with respect and you don't have to judge everyone based on the actions of um, like a tiny handful of people. So I hope that you guys like this makeup look. It is of course amazing. Oh my god, I sound really like myself. It's like amazing without a hijab and it looks really good with one as well. It's a really dramatic, cut crease, glittery eye look with a double wing and an inner corner wing because I love doing that Arabic liner stuff. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like this look. I've teamed it with this hijab because, ain't gonna lie, I don't have an extensive hijab collection. Uh, this is actually a scarf, obviously, like these weird tassel things. Um, but I hope you guys like the look. Alrighty, I'm gonna get into the look. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm gonna start out with my Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass. Now I'm wearing this makeup to um, the Sydney Sansa Festival, so I'm gonna be using products that I know, you know, don't cause sweating and creasing. And I actually think that this might be the winning combination for me because I went to an event um, it was like a hot, hot day. It was like 36 degrees Celsius and I wore this three combinations on my skin and everyone was sweating so bad and I'm there like, is it hot or something? Like my face was so matte for the entire like event and everyone else was like, what are you wearing? But now I'm gonna use my, was it this? No, it was, yes. Stila Stay All Day Foundation. Now I'm just using my buffing brush to buff all that in. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows with my Aqua Brow from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna use this cute little Stay Don't Stray primer from Benefit. I'm going to take an eyeliner pencil, this is the Sigma Nutmeg eyeliner pencil. Now what we're going to do with this is make sure it's nice and sharp and look into a mirror and sort of dot in a few little lines in your crease so you can sort of then go and connect them and cut your crease up. Slice it up like it ain't no thing. And then what I sort of do at the end is like wing it out a bit. This is literally just a stencil, so it doesn't have to be perfect. The palette that I'm using is this one from Tarte. It is the Neutralize Volume 2. This is what it looks like inside. So I'm using this, and then I'm using one feature eyeshadow, which you'll see in a second. Now, what I'm going to do is use this color right through the, the cut crease, and then this color to blend it out, Oop. and also this lighter color to blend it out.
So star of the show is this Steela Magnificent Metal Eyes in Vintage Black Gold. So I'm just going to use a synthetic brush to swipe that across the lid and it's got like a dome shape so I'm going to use that to make sure that my crease stays nice and cut. Now you're going to need a gel eyeliner. You're going to use the Illamasqua Precision Gel Liner in Infinito to do a winged line. And then I'm going to run parallel to the wing and draw in this second wing just above it in my crease, in line with my crease. And then I'm going to use short strokes to blend it in with the um, cut crease. Let's go. So, just finished, and if you're wondering, I did extend it in the inner corner and I completely forgot to tell you. The way I cleaned up all those angles is by using this little concealer brush with either concealer or makeup remover on it. And just running that along the edge um, of the liner and pretty much running it over any bit that I didn't want there anymore because it will erase it. I'm going to use the mid-tone brown under the eye. Just nice and soft. Then just got some of the steel and metal eyes. Pop it right in the center at the bottom. Now I'm going to peel this off. And now it's mascara and cleanup time, so I'm going to use my Lancome Hypnose Mascara. I'm going to apply false eyelashes, and then I'm going to put concealer under my eyes and under my blemishes. Now what I just did was add MAC Glitter Eyeliner in the colour Her Glitz and I believe it might be discontinued now from like ages ago so soz about that but um, it's pretty much like the same sort of effect as this stuff it's like um, a greeny gold, old gold type thing love it! Now I'm going to go onto the powder and this is the powder ooh that's a very dark one, one second this is new from NARS, it's the um, all day luminous powder foundation and like when I used this the other day uh, I, my makeup was like literally completely matched when everyone else looked like an old sleep sorry ladies so I'm gonna use this buffing brush from Ray Morris to just buff it in I'm gonna use my Golan Brunette um, Terracotta Four Seasons powder I'm going to use Albatross from NARS. Oh crap, my eyelid's itchy. Ooh. Oh, my eyelid wants a scratch. Just have to kind of prod at it. 
feel satisfied. Do you know what guys, I think you should go for blush. And I'm gonna use my Hourglass Ambient Light Blush in Luminous Flush. Now for lips, I'm gonna go for a peachy nude. So I'm gonna start with Cherie Lip Liner from Makeup Store. Baby pink. Should I leave it at baby pink or try it with this? I'm gonna make it baby pink. I'm gonna go swap the lip color. That means I'm gonna use this lip color for the first time, even though I bought it months ago. NARS Turkish Delight, which is always sold out every time I go into the shop. So when I saw it, I just bought it. Now I'm just um, going to show you what it looks like with the hijab. Just warning you, I, like, I, I tried looking up tutorials for this once and it's, it's hard. I don't know how you ladies do it because it's hard. So, can I just like pin that or something? Do you guys tie knots in it or? Ooh. And then can you like tuck that bit in? Oh my god, I think I did a hijab. Don't laugh at me. Ooh, 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 that looks nice. Now when you have a hijab on, it sort of changes the shape of your face a bit. So I'm going to go a bit more intense with the contouring and just get some of the darkest. And go right under there. See what I mean? Because I feel like, because usually there's like shadow from your hair or whatever, but this kind of prevents it so maybe I would suggest a little bit extra contouring but once you've got your hijab on so you can see where you need it and just like go right at the base of the hair and that I would say is the finished look hope you guys like this fun party hijab look and let me know if anyone tries this look don't forget to hashtag Chloe Morello if you upload it onto Twitter or Instagram and I hope you guys enjoyed the vid ciao